The forests of the Mediterranean are a sanctuary from the sometimes blistering heat of the coast. They've also been providing food, energy and water for millennia, playing a key role in the lives of Mediterranean people. But in the northern Mediterranean, an abandonment of forested lands has led to a lack of forest management and a dramatic increase in the incidence of forest fires. While population growth in the southern Mediterranean has led to forests being overgrazed or cut down for agriculture and urban expansion. The result is forest degradation and deforestation, problems that have compounded the already serious issue of water scarcity. Climate change and socio-economic crisis are further aggravating this situation. Il y a de moins en moins de, de pluie, donc euh, nous avons un déplacement de l'isoïette, donc euh, en quelque sorte, il y a des, 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 des zones qui étaient en subhumide et qui sont devenues en semi-aride. En Algérie, dans la partie ouest, le semi-aride est arrivé au bord de la Méditerranée. Donc pour vous dire donc cette dégradation. Euh, mais pour faire face à cette situation, donc euh, en Algérie, le gouvernement a entrepris euh, depuis ces dernières années euh, beaucoup d'ouvrages hydrauliques, de mobilisation de roues. In few places, a forest degradation and water scarcity felt as acutely as in the town of Jelfa, Algeria. Jelfa sits on the border between the Sanalba forest and the Sahara Desert. The Sanalba is one of the last surviving forests of its kind. Composed primarily of Aleppo pine, it is the most southerly pine forest in the Mediterranean region. But population growth and overgrazing combined with climate change threaten its existence. In 1966, Jelfa was a town of just 28,000 people. Today, it's home to 400,000, many of them herders who have given up their nomadic lifestyle to settle here. La disparition de la forêt entraîne donc une disparition du couvert végétal qui lui-même est important pour les populations concernant le pâturage, concernant les réserves d'eau et les nappes phréatiques. Et je pense que si on ne protège pas cette forêt et si elle disparaîtra, on aura donc une désertification, un départ des terres et les gens ne trouveront plus rien. The forest is already disappearing. Abassi Jelani has 60 head of sheep, but he can't find enough food for them to eat. إيه ما ما رنت قلقين ثروة ما كانش يعرف ال القابة ما فيهاش البرة ثاني ما كان والو رنا غا نصروا بال باللي كان وخلاص ما عدناش. Warmer temperatures and longer periods of drought have increased the incidence of fire and weakened the trees, making them more prone to insect attacks. The local forest service has reforested large areas but it may be too little too late, and fewer trees mean less water. For farmers on the outskirts of Jelfa, the winter season is usually the time when water is at its most plentiful. But this winter there's hardly been any rain, and all but two of the wells on their land are completely dry. <laughs> Temperatures in the Mediterranean region increased one degree during the 20th century, while rainfall decreased by 20%. By the end of the current century, it's expected that temperatures will have risen by a further two degrees. The National Park of Tlemcen on Algeria's northwest coast is the site of Algeria's first model forest. En plus de la production du, chêne, de, du liège, euh, la forêt offre, offre un habitat très important pour la, la, la flore et la faune. En plus, nous avons le stockage du carbone et la régulation des eaux, la protection du sol contre l'envasement euh, et l'aspect culturel, tout ce qui touristique, c'est-à-dire la création des, des chemins pédestres pour les randonnées, les VTT. Higher temperatures and reduced rainfall threaten the park's traditional landscape of cork oak and Aleppo pine. Le chêne vert, c'est l'espace qui est en train de s'installer au niveau des expositions chaudes et elle est en train de réduire la, la surface de, du chêne liège. Aussi, on constate ici, si on prend cette parcelle, une régénération presque nulle du chêne liège. 
The trees are producing 90% less acorns than they were in 2008, the last year with normal rainfall. Foresters are intervening urgently by reducing the biomass on the forest floor to assist natural regeneration while reducing the risk of fire. They've also introduced nurseries to improve the quality of seeds, seedlings and cuttings, which they then plant in the park. But it's a challenge securing the resources to protect these landscapes due to their low economic importance. This is the only cork factory in the west of the country. While several large facilities do exist in the east, the industry only employs around 5,000 people a year. Depuis 1962, ou bien 1960, l'Algérie a été classée la première production du monde. Maintenant, on est le, la dernière. Si j'ai une usine bien, elle ne m'aura pas suffi pour une année. The production of wood and cork from Mediterranean forests simply isn't profitable enough to justify maintaining the forests on this basis alone. As the manager of Mediterranean forest, have to manage this forest with the idea to provide these multiple goods and services. Um, and if you don't, we are not able to uh, know better the value of the, all the services provided, like uh, biodiversity, water quality, uh, conservation of soils, and uh, uh, also recreational uh, uh, services. Uh, it's difficult to convince uh, decision makers to invest in this Mediterranean forest. Close to Algiers, the national park of Shreya was largely off limits during the 90s when it was a hideout for armed opponents of the government. Today, it attracts 2.5 million visitors a year. The park also captures a huge amount of water used to supply the city of Blida below and for the irrigation of surrounding farmlands. Ce monde vient euh, trouver ici les conditions de détente, de délassement, euh, de divertissement, de déstressement et, et, et de loisirs en même temps. Donc il y a beaucoup de monde qui arrive et en retour, il, il nous pose euh, de, euh, une grande problématique. C'est euh, une sorte de, de poids social qui s'exerce qui va s'exercer sur cette région-là. Donc euh, le poids social, nous le, nous le sentons euh, par le fait qu'il nous laisse beaucoup de déchets une fois qu'ils viennent ici profiter de ces lieux et ils repartent chez eux. Donc ils nous laissent derrière eux beaucoup de déchets. Si it were possible to place a monetary value on the recreational and water services provided by the park, it would be easier to persuade decision makers to invest in protecting it, developing eco-tourism, bins and recycling road infrastructure and parking facilities. The neige qui tombe fréquemment et beaucoup dans les périodes d'hiver euh, mois de février et par de suite on a les routes bloquées, on peut pas y accéder à la zone et faute à ça, on a moins de clients que d'habitude. Et le période d'été, c'est les feux de forêt généralement qui déclenchent à force de la grande chaleur qu'on a, la canicule qu'on a ici. Et ça repercute sur notre commerce parce que les gens, ils en ont peur de monter. Developing payment for environmental service schemes could also help address the critical issue of water scarcity. 60% of the world's population living in water poor countries is concentrated in the Mediterranean region. Euh, évidemment, il euh, y a des inquiétudes. C'est pas uniquement en Algérie. C'est tous les pays de cette tranche là qui, qui s'inquiètent. 500 million people currently live in the Mediterranean. That figure is expected to reach 625 million by 2050. The result, ever increasing competition for already scarce food and water supplies. In a region being strongly hit by climate change, action must be taken now while there are still resources to protect. <laughs>